Hello, my beautiful souls. Let's do a daily read for Monday, December 5th, 2022. I do want to remind you this is general for the day for all 12 signs. So let's just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. But I hope everything is amazing with you. And we're going to pull from the Gills of Tarot. I'm thinking just a layered spread. I was going to try and do something else, but then we're just going to go with a layered spread. Anyways, for Monday. What do we have for Monday? Okay, the Page of Cups, the King of Swords. I just heard no, it's not worth it or what's not for you. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune. So it's this day where your experience when it comes to acquiring what you desire, when it comes to past experiences, right? The ups, the downs, it all comes into play in regards to what you're continuing, thinking about wrapping oneself up in and trying to even manifest at this time. And it's a day where, okay, predictive nature is coming into play as I'm drawn to these seahorses here. Um, but if somebody is offering you something of, okay, of minuscule nature is what they're saying, that doesn't feel up to par or enough for you or accurate for you, there's a need to um, not ignore that, okay? Or remember that. Notice what's at hand for what it truly is, okay? I feel like my hand just looks really weird. Anyways, um, but I just feel as if, okay, the ball is in your court. There's a focus on connections, okay, for one reason or another. Even if you're not connecting with a ton of people or anybody at all throughout this day, there's at the very least thoughts of connecting with people. But your worth comes into play in regards to more than one area of life, okay? Um, the Wheel of Fortune talking about the fact that you're using your wits, okay, your talents, your knowledge and wisdom from your path up until this point to continue something or to begin something uh, quite efficiently, you're seeing the wheel turn for oneself, okay? It's a day to be you is what I just heard. It's a day to be you. Now, I do feel like your guard is up, whether that's with a relationship, it could be with somebody you live with, work with, you name it. It could be in regards to just simply kind of a five of cups vibe, expecting the worst to an extent. But I do feel like spirit saying, let's focus on the positives, okay? You're most likely just trusting your intuition or just what the energy is telling you in a situation, right? Um, potentially even just not forgetting the past, right? Um, holding on to that quite tightly in regards to how things are meant to unravel, just to protect oneself for your energy. But I feel as if something's uh, productively coming to be for oneself, okay? Um, get ready for life to change is what I just heard. Let's actually, um, I'm gonna put these over here and we're going to keep pulling. What else do we have? Yeah, there's thoughts of what you've already left behind and also people, right? Uh, and how that's going to play into things moving forward, okay? And what else you have to, and who else you have to leave behind as your path unravels. Um, okay, I feel like you're thinking about having more control in a situation that's a little bit disappointing, okay, or heartbreaking. Um, I feel like somebody's thinking about you in a, at a distance in a very, um, yeah, disappointed way or just heartbroken kind of way. But anyways, there's thoughts of your financial savings as well. You're more in control than you think is what I'm hearing. It may feel like a day where it just speeds by, all right? And I do feel like something else is progressing quite quickly. And you may feel as if you have to do things quickly. It's a day where even previous to this day, in the past days, you've been reminded when you feel intuitively guided to, even spiritually guided to get something done at a certain period of time, right? Period of time, when you feel the need to get something done, uh, like all of something. Say you have a bunch of laundry to do like I did yesterday. I felt the need to get it done at the beginning of the day. Um, even though I did have the majority of the day to get it done, other factors made it, um, less possible to get it done later on in the day. Do you see what I'm saying? And so trusting that feeling will lead you to getting things done more efficiently throughout this day and even potentially not missing out on an opportunity. It's going to differ from case to case, but um, yeah, trust, trust your intuition always. Okay. It also feels like you're not being out in the open or just vocal about what you're moving towards. 
okay and even potentially what you're moving away from it might be more obvious than meets the eye or just you might know it's somewhat obvious but i just feel like you're not the only one in a situation that's um, holding their cards close to their chest or just simply trying to figure things out okay um just do what's right for you just do what's right for you we have the queen of wands and the four of swords as I take a moment to catch my breath, I feel like, again, a bit of defensive energy, right? Seven from you, other people. Um, I sense that you're getting ready to shift towards the new, however that works for you. Um, spirit's saying, keep things fresh for oneself. Keep things fresh. I feel as if the day could feel a bit structured, but a bit random. So try to go with the flow. Try to go with the flow. Um, there's a sense that you're getting ready to take something that's very structured, say it's a business or a project or even the way you approach a job and you're getting ready to fine tune it or just kind of adjust the way you approach it in certain ways or adjust the structure of that business or project, right? Um, at least part of it in spirit saying that's how we keep it fresh. That's how we, um, go through that trial and error and just see different creative results. Okay. Um, spark that creativity within oneself is what I'm hearing. There's a sense that you can do something over and over and over and see results. But if you're feeling bored of it, or if you're feeling as if the creativity within you, as far as creating and developing and seeing it come to be and grow, isn't there anymore, then it's going to lose its magical touch to an extent. Okay. Um, so how you feel when you're wrapping oneself up and whatever that is for you, that's just as important as how much those tuning in uh, like it or feel about it or how they feel about it, right? Or even how it comes to be, okay? Anyways, um, I'm now hearing your feelings matter. Your feelings matter. So there may be a push at a certain point throughout this day to stop and ask oneself, why do I feel the way I feel or how do I actually feel about this, okay? How does the energy in this situation make me feel? Now, I do feel like as well, your the innate ability throughout this day to put yourself in someone else's shoes comes in, in handy, but it's also, it's more so a day to focus on oneself, okay? Even though, again, connections or one specific one does take a highlight at a certain point, um, you're very important, you're of importance is what I'm hearing. This is a very interestingly random reading. Um, yeah, the Queen of Swords. So two Queen um, cards coming out. We do have the King of Swords up here, but I feel as if your masculine energy is going to be put to the side at a certain point throughout the day and we'll be shifting more so into letting our feminine side, male or female, uh, take over. Okay, be put to use. Um, Spirit saying this will be feeling quite creative, very um, flowy, but a little bit defensive. Okay. Um, and I just feel like you're going to be reminded there's a need to keep the hope alive. There's a need to do what's right for you once again. And I feel like there's going to be a reminder of how strong you are. Okay. Whatever is about to switch up for you, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. And I feel like the previous days and this day as a whole will give you a glimpse of how that looks for you. Okay. But also in regards to, uh, but it will also, uh, give you a sense of why okay um yeah i feel like everything's just meant to be as, as you move forward and you need to remember that everything happens for a reason every little thing i have it written on my chest for a reason for a reason as i just took a moment to breathe i got the message of one two that's for you one two that's for you um and i was just a little bit twitchy but you get the point spirit saying when something is pointed out by your spirit guides or a random spirit or even your intuition or all of which and it's saying or they're saying it's meant for you why are we questioning it okay i sense that there's just a fresh perspective and feeling on your individual future after this day even throughout it okay um spark that hope spark that hope okay and recognize when you my empaths in the past were uh, picking up on and holding on to without meaning to someone else's negative perspective on things. Okay. I also sense that you're being reminded you deserve this quality, emotionally fulfilling connection. Okay. Romantic connection. And um, 
yeah, that could be the connection that's taking a highlight throughout this day, but for some who aren't in a commitment or even have anybody at this time, there's a special somebody coming in for you due to a change that you're implementing moving forward. Beautiful, beautiful. Flying onto the ground, the King of Pentacles. I'm gonna leave it there because I truly just don't feel like grabbing it. But I do feel like it's a day where you're being pushed to sit back in your throne with two kings now and recognize that you have the power to create um, what you desire in your external reality and understand that you're protected all the meanwhile. There will be a moment of rest throughout this day that is just as purposeful as the busy moments, okay? It's in that moment or those moments where you're reminded things are shifting in the right direction for you. Things are progressing as they're meant to. And it's okay to take a moment or two to stop and question, to reassess, to notice even what's working for you and what's not, okay? And what will potentially work for you and potentially not, okay? It's a day of reassessing, but it's a day of questioning and doing what's right for you and remembering that things are working out exactly as they're meant to. Again, everything happens for a reason, period, all right? So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy your Monday and I'll see you next time.